Um, so Seth comes out, basically kind of, you know, generic promo, uh, you know, setting up WrestleMania, and then Jinder comes out and interrupted him and said, and Rollins uh, was kind of surprised. Mahal said he was more of a re- revolutionary in five minutes last week than Rollins has been in the, during the years he's called himself a revolutionary. He told the Portland fans to look at their city and their degenerates in every street corner. Miles, Mahal said Rollins has a platform, exactly. but he brings no change into those childish temper tantrums when things don't go his way once the show is off the air. That was a good line, I thought. Mahal took issue with Rollins overlooking him and not giving him an opportunity, and Mahal said he beat Orton with ease. He said that Rollins' disrespect would not be tolerated and that he sees through Rollins. Mahal said he's, he's Rollins' attention for the first time in a long time. Rollins scratched his head and said he would, he would say something that might surprise Mahal, and Rollins said Mahal was right. He said, we've been overlooking Mahal. He said, it wasn't an accident. It's been done on purpose. He said, everyone's been trying to forget Mahal until he showed up last week, and The Rock put his advice. Rollins said he admires that Mahal showed up again after the, what The Rock did to him. However, Rollins said he did not appreciate Mahal ruining the party he in his face. Ron said that Mahal is sick of being over of sick of being overlooked and want to do something that the people would remember him for forever for. And Ron said, dared Mahal to take a swing at him. Hall didn't budge. That's what I thought. Same old gender, Ron said before turned away. And then Mahal hit Rollins from behind. Rollins fought back, but Mahal put him down, and Mahal for Kala's finish his finisher, but Rollins avoided it and then super kicked him, and Mahal ended up at ringside when he went for the stomp. Um this two two weeks in a row or two appearances in a row that the the genders killed it on the mic out there. Dude. You know, <laughs> which is why and this is the bro. I want to say something because it's funny because <clears throat> the AEW fans like Alvarez and all these guys and you know, then the, the, the smart marks are all complaining why gender is, you know, like why gender. It's like, dude, because he cuts a good promo. It's like that's a that's a that's a good verbal exchange. It makes you interested in, in, in these two guys fighting each other. Well, well what do you not think only that, that, let me just add to this. So you got to keep in mind, India just passed China as the most populous nation on Earth. Right. And they do huge numbers in India, as does AAA. We do really big numbers in, like, digitally in India. <clears throat> you have to cater to that part of the, the world. That's number one. Number two, there's nobody on God's green earth who's watching wrestling for the first time or in a long time, and they don't know who Jinder Mahal is, and they're seeing him in front of the rock, and they're not telling me he doesn't look like a star, too. There's nobody that can tell me that, yeah, you can, and this is a viable argument. Yeah, he never wins, and they treat him like a jobber. But there is absolutely, to me, the guy looks the part, acts the part, doesn't get, he doesn't get owned by The Rock or Rollins on the mic. You know what I'm saying? He holds right. his own. Like, he looks the part. Right. And like I've always said, Jinder and anybody else is just one good storyline away from being a star. They do a really good, look at what they're doing with Nakamura. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've said it before and I said it on the mailbag that I think he's going to get such a great reaction from here on out because uh, because of what happened with with Tony on Twitter and then the stuff with The Rock at this point, And this is someone that would have been D.I. Well, he deserves it. He's been there a long yeah, time. Right. But I'm saying I, I would have been the smarky type a few years ago to go. Hey, why is he champ? This sucks. Blah, blah. He's completely won me over. And I would even keep going with it and put him in like the final four in the rumble to give people that little seed of doubt. He could be like the, uh, you know, the underdog kind of, even though he's a heel, the people right. are still going to cheer him is my thing. I, I would put him in there and make him look really good. I don't know if they're going to cheer him. I think they're going to boo him. And I think that, yeah, think, so I think, I. Let, me t- let me tell you why. Cause I think they're going to, the, the fans seeing what happened with him in this past week, I think they're going to give him the respect that he's the heel and they're going to boo him huh. because he's performing pretty good in this, in this angle. You know, that's, what know, know, that's what I think. That's what I, I may be wrong. Reason. I may be wrong, but well, I, I think that's I, yeah, I think that's the but way I, they're gonna react, you know? Well, yeah. Cause cause I think they look at him as like he was disrespected <clears throat> when he's been performing pretty well on television. Right. Yes. And you that, know, which that, is yeah, that, yeah. that's the thing. If he if he was like sucking or like well, out there wrestling and having a terrible match with a botch and stuff, I could see it. But it's like, bro, well, like you're you're knocking this guy. He looks his mic work is better than than like most of the wrestling that AEW puts on. It's more entertaining than the guys slap, slapping their thighs and doing all these crazy spots, in, in my opinion. You know, yeah. that, that's the way I, I, I think that's the way the WWE fans are going to look at it. So we'll see. I really, yeah. really couldn't stand that title run. So, and I'm saying that because he's turned me around. And now when he comes out, I'm like, oh, sweet. Good. It's going to be a good promo. It's going to be this. It's going to be well, that. Well, not only that, bro. <clears throat> think, think of this. After all the years that you've been in, all the gimmicks that he's been through, all right? The pressure of being on live TV Monday night facing The Rock. Right. And he didn't look out of pocket. He didn't look nope. out of place. And then he still held his own with Seth. He looks like a star, bro. 
Yeah, somebody believes in them big time, and they and probably even more so now. Right. 